Jurassic World Dominion, aka Jurassic Park 6, is supposed to be the big finale for the franchise, bringing in the old and new characters for one very important mission that includes a genetics company trying to do wrong with dino DNA. And that's all pretty much say without giving any spoilers to you guys, this will be a spoiler free review. You guys know here if you've been following on the channel the past couple of days, I was reviewing all the Jurassic Park movies. I love those films growing up and I was a fan of what they started doing in Jurassic World. I really still like that Jurassic World movie even with its flaws here and there and after seeing Dominion I'm still gonna call it my favorite out of this new trilogy because I really think it's important now for some people to start taming their expectations for what is supposed to be the big epic finale of the Jurassic Park franchise. Starting off with the positives in this movie there are enough redeeming factors in this film for you to come out really enjoying it and happy with it. For one one of the biggest praises I want to give this film is this is probably the Jurassic Park movie that has the most actual animatronic dinosaurs. Like really they go all out with the dinosaurs here while there's still CGI thrown in here and there and it looks fantastic. The really up close shots of the animatronic dinosaurs just continue to add to that atmosphere that I love that Jurassic Park has. It also just gives me a deeper appreciation for the movie that they went and did that when they could have easily have made some of these dinosaurs CGI. The tension is well built up. You do feel fear for some of these characters when they're put in certain situations and I think that's something that people always want to see when they go into a Jurassic Park movie is just dinosaur action. But by far the best thing about Jurassic World Dominion and the thing that'll make it enough for people to walk out and go, I actually really like this one, I don't know what people are talking about, is having the OGs and the new characters come together and interact. I was so ecstatic as a Jurassic Park fan hearing that Alan Grant, Ian Malcolm, Ellie Sattler, that original trio would be back in this movie and they'd be meeting the new characters we started to grow and love, and that entire aspect of the movie worked so well and I was smiling ear to ear. Sam Neill playing Alan Grant as one of my favorite Jurassic Park characters was so heartwarming to see back and it's not even just them getting together, the OGs are treated like main characters from the beginning till the end of the movie. This film is literally split down the middle with giving them equal screen time until they're brought together for the rest of the movie. And in that aspect, you kind of get two movies in one with Jurassic World Dominion because Alan Grant, Ellie Sattler, and Ian Malcolm have their own mission here. As well as Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard's character, they have their own mission and their missions just happen to align. Ian Malcolm as Jeff Goldblum is going to be the funniest thing about this movie, he brings about like 90 to 80 percent of the humor and it works for me but I think nothing tops just the mix of the group seeing Alan Grant talk to Owen Grady Ian Malcolm having conversations with Claire it's like equal to when you first saw the Avengers interact with each other that might sound a little odd but that's exactly what it felt like it's like oh my god they're talking to each other this is so cool and that's why I fully believe that entire aspect of the movie will be enough for people to come out pleased happy and I won't blame them because even for some of the missteps in this movie it is worth seeing those moments with these characters together. But with that said, uh, Jurassic World Dominion makes some choices. The entire three movie arc was building up to you creating Jurassic World, literally. We didn't see it then, we just thought that was the name of the theme park at the time, but this is the plan they always had, a world filled with dinosaurs left and right. And that's what they were teasing at the end of the last movie, and then surprise when you get to this one, I don't give it to you. The opening of the movie shows you what the world is looking like with dinosaurs everywhere, but then for like the other 80% of the movie, they take you to isolated locations where we don't get to see what Jurassic World is like. I was really curious about that. Is there like a new police department intact to take care of these dinosaurs and animal control? How do everyday people go to work if while you're driving there a T-Rex is running through the red light? Are there conversations in the government and army to try and just kill every dinosaur they see? Or are they protected? Like all stuff I wanted answered. We just don't know. If anything, that Jurassic Park short film they released, where I think it was called like Battle at Big Rock, where it showed a couple of campers just out trying to live and then dinosaurs come in, that will give you more of Jurassic World than Jurassic World Dominion does. Because they really switch things up for this one where this feels like the least Jurassic Park movie out of all of them. I was a little worried about this when I was watching the Dominion trailers and you would see these raptors going through the streets of a foreign country. Because that just felt very out of nowhere for Jurassic Park, but I was like, well, that is the world they live in now. Dinosaurs are everywhere, but that whole sequence 
literally feels more like it's Jurassic Park doing Fast and Furious. This movie has jumped the shark in a world where they've created genetically made dinosaurs and that was already supposed to suspend our disbelief. So I think there's going to be a lot of people disappointed with the real story going on in Jurassic World Dominion because it feels like straight out of nowhere and like why are we focusing so hard on this? I won't go into too much detail but if you've seen the movie The Mutated Locust Plot why? I also think both the villains for this movie are extremely weak, and I'm talking about the human and the dinosaur villain. For one, the human villain is literally just Tim Cook, Apple CEO, copied and pasted. If there are any Apple heads out there that are also Jurassic Park fans, you're not going to be able to get that image out of your head. Right now, I'm showing you a photo of the CEO of Apple, Tim Cook. But if you just finished watching Jurassic World Dominion, you probably think I'm showing you a photo of their villain. I get sometimes movie want to take real world inspiration, but that was just distracting, especially when you also make their headquarters look exactly like the Apple one. But even the motivations of this villain just come off so weak. And then something I always look forward to seeing in Jurassic Park movie, the big bad dinosaur, the Gigantosaurus. It's literally just like a one note dinosaur that I don't feel any fear for. I just still find it funny that the creative team in this movie literally described this dinosaur as the Joker. And there's still more crazy things they decide to do. There's like a weird twist in this movie they reveal that I don't even want to get into here. I'm going to talk about that in spoilers, but it just adds on to these unnecessary complicated layers that makes you wonder what happened to the franchise? Where did you go? And mind you, this is just coming from a place of disappointment. I don't hate this movie. I don't think it's a terrible movie. Like I said, it's just so amazing seeing some of my favorite characters interact with each other. And that brought enough smiles to my face. I got to see dinosaurs being menacing, eating people, scary sequences. But the story and arcs in this movie are going to leave you so empty. So for Jurassic World Dominion, I'm going to give action three and a half stars. There is a good amount of dinosaur action in here, but it's not paced very well. Well, so you start to miss the dinosaurs in aspects of this movie and start to wonder if we're in a world where there's dinosaurs everywhere where are they comedy in the movie i am going to give it three stars that is mainly due to jeff goldblum guy had me laughing so hard throughout the movie so look forward to that from me and malcolm drama in the film i can't believe this man i'm gonna give it two stars i was severely disappointed with the story that jurassic world dominion decided to tell when it just spent two movies building up to a world where dinosaurs were everywhere and then out of nowhere they decide to focus on bugs Hard in the film, I'll give it two stars. There were sequences in here where the dinosaurs were being scary, threatening, and Colin Trevorrow does build up that good tension. Just kind of wish we maybe would have gotten more of those scary sequences instead of dinosaurs doing Fast and Furious. Suspense the film, I'm gonna give it two and a half stars. Since I'm not that interested in the story you're telling, I found it really hard to get into the mission and them trying to get out of it. Casual fans, I'm gonna give it a B plus. Cinephiles, I'm gonna give it a C plus. And critically, I'm going to give it a C minus. For Jurassic World Dominion, I can't tell you how much heavy lifting the third final act does with all these characters together for me to say it's still worth watching in theaters. I truly mean that that final third of Jurassic World Dominion is just worth the weird setup and story that goes on because you get to see these guys interact. Plus the nice little bow tie and closing of the chapter for a lot of these characters we started watching back in 93. It's hard not to be satisfied with that aspect of the movie. But I'm really going to be curious to hear from you guys. If you've seen Jurassic World Dominion, what did you think about it? Like I said, I'm definitely going to do a spoiler review because there's so many other aspects of this movie I want to dive into. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3 films but as always i'm chris take care